Why? Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland! The chosen one! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Rodriguez! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh. Under three minutes. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right punches there. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Under two minutes to go. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Nice. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Oh, huge plus. Oh, big right hand. Oh, straight right. 
knee. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Stuffs that takedown attempt. Oh, home, and now his opponent in a roll attempt. Such a sneaky head kick he did. Not like he's high, but now he's gotten hurt bad. And he's looking for that left hand just in itself. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. No good. Oh, what a hands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Check these low leg kicks. And they separate. Punches blocks. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. And they separate. out of side control. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Lands the ground and pound strike here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. 10 minutes in the books. Let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. So here we go, five minutes remain in the fight. 
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh, big shot lands. Cover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 55 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the chosen. Right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career.